Hello everybody and welcome back to The Ball, a first person puzzle game where you take a magical gun and shove around a ball that will henceforth be known as Craig. In the last episode we rolled Craig around, we floated him on some lava, and we ran over some monkeys. And that was all only in level one. Oh, and there are some more monkeys. Let's see what level two brings us. Monkey! Squishy monkey. Though I think that's bad. That that kind of suggested at the end of the last level that squishing the monkeys were a bad thing. But I don't know. Um. The way ahead is shot. Entombed forever by the people of the Tallen Banner. There's a lot of letters for so little words. More words. He who attempts to break the seal will make a wasteland of his home and those of his brothers. Okay, so we turn around and go go back. Seriously. <laughs> oh. Nope. Let's try that again. Come on, in the hole. In the hole. Boom. Wow, this is a huge cave. You know, I wanted to build something like this in Minecraft, but I didn't have the patience to dig it all out. <laughs> and I'm not joking, this was the project that I was working on the last sh or the last Community Craft server before the 1.7 update. Um, I, I, this is what caused me to not have time to actually make a video. Well, that and the whole web project that I'm working on with my dad. But, yeah. Now, I can't get this out of my head. The way is shut. In the cutscene there, I think I squished another monkey. But where it said the way is shut, isn't that a quote from like a movie? It's like the way is shut, and then there was something about it, and then they said the way is shut again. I forget. Water. Well, we know water goes down. Why do I get the feeling that I totally just missed something that went up that way? I may have to go back and check the video later on. Actually, I will while I'm editing it. Okay, so I'm going to assume the ball needs to go down there. Uh, and we found out in the last episode that the ball sinks. And... I don't. Come on, down. There we go. Okay, so I have to push forward. Look, a knife. Boom! Oh. The ball is not as responsive underwater. Do I need to breathe? Because I see no oxygen indicator or anything. Can I jump out? Come on. Oh, there was something there. Okay. So if I push the button, the slightly glitched clippy button. Oh, water goes bye bye. Okay. Interesting. What's all around here? Something I probably should not be standing on because it'll probably go away here shortly. We got a path here that needs the ball. All right, come here, come here, Craig. Into the hole. Oh, you bastard. I get the feeling that Nat needs to stay there. Whoa! I can't breathe anymore. Crap. Okay, let's see what's down this way. Yeah, I see no breath indicator, so I don't know if I, like, have to worry about breathing or what. Okay, so I pushed the button, the water went away again. Did the door open? Yes, it did. Come here, Craig. Boop. Boom! I really like doing that. It's like bowling with a giant ball. Oh, I should have shot it harder, I guess. More centered. That way I could have run those guys over. Okay, so we can't go that way, so we gotta go this way. Come on, Craig. 
Let's go see what's over here. <laughs> A reason to hold the ball in front of me. Okay. Yeah, that just tells me that everywhere I go, the ball should come with, pretty much. That that right there, that just basically says what I'm doing right here, where I'm just holding it in front of me and rolling with it, is the correct answer. Okay, that's kind of cool, but how do I get the ball up? get across myself, but how do I get the ball up? Oh, I bet you I get the ball up doing something else that's activated by this button! That's over here. Oh, it fell down. Okay, do I go down? I made noise. Holy crap. Come on, ball, you go forward. Should it bother me that I'm not breathing? That I have no breath indicator? At all? Oh, there we go. That's a breath indicator. <laughs> I have no way of knowing how long I can hold my breath. There's something right there. Come here. Okay, apparently not. Okay, so are you just a monkey? Yes, you're just a monkey. Okay. Am I following the monkey? No, apparently the monkey's just insane. Okay, so that got me... Oh, I see something. I have to pound that. And then I have to go over there and do the same with the other one. And there's all that lava under there. Okay, so note to self, there's lava down there. Alrighty. So, let's leave the ball here. Let's go to the other side. This is a very, very pretty game. And I can't pick up the gold. You bastards. And everything shakes. Of course everything shakes. Why wouldn't it shake? This is all... No, oh, come on. There we go. Oh, did I squish the monkey? I squished the monkey. Whoops. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Look, more zombies. He went that way. Of course, that way's closed off. Hmm. Would assume that I have to do this. Shove that out of the way. Go down to this pathway here. I think I've played too many puzzle games. I can recognize the patterns. Though this pattern I don't recognize. Do I go up? Do I go down? Well, let's go up. That's the standard trope, I guess. Okay, that was a no. <laughs> I would guess the ball goes up at some point. But judging from that floor, I would guess the ball goes up. And I come down here and I get... A platform. Okay. So again, I think the ball goes up. But how do I get the ball there? I can't crouch underneath that. 
<clears throat> Obviously that ball won't fit through the path that I just went through. Well, let's head back, grab the ball, and see what the other direction gave me. Yeah, you don't go any farther. More spider webs. So, let's see what happens when we go up here. Okay, that's where I need to go. This is where I am. And that's mildly creepy music. Put the ball in the hole. Does nothing. Okay, there's lava everywhere. Hey, look, rope. Oh, look, it's a bigger ball. Can I, can I, how do I, how do I climb? Seriously, how do I climb? Um, I don't know. How do I climb? <laughs> like, the rope is blinking, but I can't do anything with it. Alrighty then. Oh, hi. How did you get over here? Oh, it was when I did that. That works when I don't point it at you. Why is the ball all wet? It is a very, very wet ball. Okay, let's see. What else do we got to work with? Since the rope doesn't do anything. Nope. The gun doesn't work on those balls up there, it seems. Worked on that one. It's over here. Nothing! Uh, hmm. Alright, apparently it's something to do with the rope. But I don't know what to do with the rope, because I can't use the rope. So apparently I can roll the ball up on the... Uh, What's with the goo? Does the goo have a purpose? Oh. Yeah. Well, that was obvious. Does it blow up? Yep, it blows up. Yeah! Now that I think about it, that was blatantly obvious. Goo was everywhere, there was fire. Duh. Yeah, that was that was blatantly obvious. Okay, um we're heading farther away from that other puzzle. Was that like a secret puzzle, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Got a couple paths up. Ball can't go through there. More spider webs. Some kind of elevator system that's has a lot of bugs abandoning ship. Another place. Another elevator. Oh, hey, and a block. All right, let's see. Block would go where exactly? I would guess in the elevator. Uh, I think I guessed correctly. I thought it would bring up that elevator, but uh, no, it opened a pathway. So we come back down here, and this pathway is open so we can take the ball through it. That was a train. I would also lay odds that that was a train that just hit something that caused a cave-in, so I can't actually follow it. No, it just smashed into the wall. So it's a ball train. 
Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be seeing that later in the game. From what I, what, my guess is that was introduce us to the ball train mechanic. As weird as that sounds, that's the basically where we take the ball and we put it on a train. Yep. No duh. That was blatantly obvious that, that was going to happen. I mean, you have no idea how obvious that was. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh. I kind of like the mechanics of this. And I like how the zombies are smart enough to know that there's a ball coming. Anybody else? No? Alright, let's keep going. Can I roll it down the tracks? No, it just rolls right off the tracks. Alright. Let's see, what all is where? That's a dead end. Yeah, that's definitely a dead end. Well, let's take the ball down the path that I did not just open. And yet I did. But there's another door here, so... I need to open another pathway, which I would guess would be down... This tunnel! Whoa! What in the crap was that? We have magic fires. Okay. Didn't expect that. Okay. The ball stops them. So that's good. They don't even fire when you're behind the ball. Hi, guys. on this side too yeah it looks like they're gonna be on that side too alrighty nothing over here I can do anyways oh well this is problematic hmm. and I can't hit them with anything because there I have no, there are no weapons in this game it's all about the ball That's where the door goes, so there's no point in opening the door. Is there anything down here? No. Oh! I know the correct answer. Stay there, Craig. Hi guys! That is not the correct answer. <laughs> I figured they'd just blow through the door, but no. Uh, let's see, nothing over there. Nothing down there. Okay. Okay, that was fun. Um, so... So I have this block, but what's it for? Is it meant to do something? Obvious obviously it's meant to do something, because I can do this, tie a rope around it, pull it, push it, but I don't know what advantage that gives me. 
Am I supposed to take it back the way I came? Is it supposed to go forward? I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing anything that does that. Hmm. Yep, gotta look around, see what I can see. I didn't see anything in here that would use that, did I? No. This just goes back forwards. We know where that goes. That leads us back to where we came. And most first person shooters tend not to want you to go back the way you came. Alright, so let's push forward. Let's see what we can do about pushing ourselves forward. So if we push this thing forward, all right. Now is it something to do with that up there? Maybe. Let's push this thing around a little bit more. And let's see. It's the only thing that I can see that I could jump on. Oh, yes, bullseye. I was gonna say, it's the only thing I can see that I can jump on that this would help me jump onto. Yeah, okay, so I'm not fast with puzzle games, but I'm okay with them. Hi, zombie bastards. more of you bastards okay I really hope that mechanic changes because it's mildly boring now I've I, I've done that what five times total kill a couple of zombies by squishing them yeah that mechanic got old fast oh hey look elevator I expected it to open a door up there That was a big giant sign that says you're not going back. That little bump right there. Let's see, what's this way? A way that most people probably wouldn't look initially. But again, this is a puzzle game. That's how you play it. You look in places you're not really supposed to look. Especially if you want to find, like, hidden secrets and stuff like that. I take it there's a magnet right there. Yeah. Okay, that's the other one. And I would guess that that one turns back on. Yep. Okay. Ideas? need to turn off both magnets. Oh, and we definitely need the ball to go that way. What is through here? More spike pits, okay. And then this is just a door. All right, so one way or the other, I'm gonna have to figure out how to solve this puzzle. do anything, but I hit the ball. The 
powerful magnet, and I take no damage from doing any of this. You'd really think I'd be squished. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Let's look around. Maybe there are some hints or suggestions around here somewhere. Maybe a block that's floating around somewhere that I could use to push onto the other button. Or just in general, something not so obvious that I wouldn't see it. Of course, this might be a mechanics thing. Like, I have to think with the ball instead of, you know, with portals. I don't know. But one way or the other, I have to free Craig from the magnets or I'm never going to be able to continue this game. So I can get him to go off to the side. But I don't have enough time to fire him off anywhere. Okay, I've tried a few test runs, test jumps anyways, like back here, and it looks like I have the distance to jump this spike pit here, so I'm going to try that, because I'm getting nowhere with the magnets. Yes! I could jump spike pits. Oh. Block. And that did what exactly? That did... A wall. I need to go the other way. Ah, crap, I have to jump back over the spike pits. Oh, apparently no, I don't. Because the wall came from here and went that way. Okay. Okay. So then I take it, I disable this. And I get my ball back. And then I gotta roll it around to the other side. Whee! Oh, where everything's straight up disabled. Okay, I figured I'd have to, you know, go back or disable this one and then go around, but yeah, whatever. Alrighty, so we are on the other side of that door that broke. Bong. All right, that's a that's a that's a sealed off door, definitely. Let us continue along. Roll free. Nothing yet. Oh, save point. Checkpoint, anyways. stand on the plate, and I walk through, and nothing happens. Doink. I was expecting more zombies, actually. Oh, I hear the fire. I'm like, what is that noise? Yeah, I'm keeping the ball close. It's my security ball. Though, I think this game doesn't look nearly as pretty when you're looking at it through the glass of the ball. And I would imagine from the title screen and the menu screen, um, we're not always going to have a clear ball. Because, like, uh, in the title screen, the ball is opaque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see ya. Come on. That was one. The other one ran away? Where'd you go? There you are. Come here. Yeah, that's getting old. Alright. What else we got? I can't go that way because there's a platform in the way. I can't go that way. I can go this way, but the ball cannot. There's a zombie. Hopefully it doesn't randomly wake up because I don't have the ball to kill things with. 
Same with that one. Did he twitch? I think he twitched. You bastard. Alright, so remember what I said about the ball train? Yeah. Here it is. Told ya. Alright, anything up here? No, but that's the door to get Craig in through here. Alrighty. Oh, how about through that hole right there? I bet you this leads me around to here. And that opens that door so I can get the ball through to that side. Whee! And then on to the ball train. The blatantly obvious ball train. But it said press E to do something. Hmm. Do I have to be in a better position to be on the train? Oh, I bet you I have to go in first and then the ball can go onto the train. No? Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, am I doing anything? Like, speeding it up, slowing it down? Is this the Indiana Jones in a Temple of Doom thing? I was trying to hold the ball, but I can't hold the ball because I don't have my gun. Or is this just an elaborate cutscene? It's like the intro to Half-Life. Welcome to Black Mesa East. You are going to spend the next 10 minutes on this train while I talk about nothing. Yep, that's about it. Ooh, look, more lava. Where's my water bucket? I could use some obsidian. How, does, how is this ball not falling out of the train? Seriously. Like, I just rolled it on. How is it not falling out of the train? Do those sides go up, maybe? Oh, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like it prevents it from going forward. It doesn't look like it prevents it from going back. And the blue lights confuse me, since blue has been associated with... I take it this is our stop. Uh, blue has been associated with the player action... Yeah, um, since blue has been associated with player action, I think, oh, I've got to do something. No, wait, that's just the light. Never mind. It's kind of annoying. It is mildly annoying. Bong. I'm assuming the, the bong that I keep hearing is just uh, ambient noise. It doesn't seem to be associated with anything. My ball! You bastards! Come back here, Craig! Ah. Uh, I guess I'm going after it. Whee! Splush. Come back here, Craig! Whoa! Okay, I can't fight the current. I can't fight the current! Whee! I wonder if that's what they meant by the way is shut, because it totally wasn't. <laughs> oh look, I found a village! Can you put out the fire? No, you cannot. I wouldn't want to stand in the fire, I'll tell you that much. I found a village. Can I found a villager? I need to do some trades. Anybody? Nobody? Fine. Uh, well, let's see. Where do we need to go now? 
Is that my mouse shaking or was the screen shaking? Was like their vibrations? I couldn't tell. It's like that earthquake that happened in, in, up here a couple of years ago. Look, zombies! Woo. Oh, where'd the ball go? There it is. Hi. Um, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's just a blur of blood and ball. Are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> okay. Um, I still don't know where the hell I'm going. I would assume I'm going this way. I would also assume that I'm fighting my way there. For some ungodly reason. Is that the city of the dead from that movie that I can't remember? The Mummy? ball is really strong. Or maybe that's what they meant by the way is shut. Okay, I would point out real quick that the reason I played this game is because that the trailer for this game suggested heavily that this was all leading up towards a puzzle game based in Aperture Laboratories. Does this look like anything Aperture to you? No, the gun doesn't even look Aperture. This is, that's, it's kind of why I gave the game a chance in the first place. And that's no exaggeration, I actually wasn't going to buy this game until I heard GLaDOS, and I'm like, dude, I'm all over that. Of course, I would assume that's why they put her in there, was so that people like me would go, dude, I'm all over that. Nope. Yeah, run away. I think there's one behind me still. Yeah, they're trying to get out of the way of the ball. Doesn't work. Oh, wait. Um, I guess that was the end of level two. Which was slightly unexpected. Um, I didn't mean to actually end it. <laughs> I was going to finish killing them and then go over my stats, but I didn't see it. But, hey, anyways, alright, so that was the end of part two. So that's going to be the end of episode two, I guess. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.